It said music can heal the soul. At Florida State University, the professors developed a musical device to help premature babies grow and become healthy. And it seems the problem is when the babies are born very early, the neurological system is too immature to support independent feeding. As babies suck on the pacifier activated lullaby device, or PAL, they get a musical reward in the form of a lullaby. When the bell breaks the, the soothing lullaby encourages the infant to continue to suck, essentially teaching the child to eat. We feel like we're accomplishing two major milestones. Music is an incentive. It's pleasant to the baby. They will suck a great deal more uh, in order to listen to the music, and that transfers to a feeding skill, and they almost immediately go to independent feeding, sometimes with as little as 15 minutes of training, which is kind of a miracle when you consider how big this problem is. OK, are you ready? Nurses at Tallahassee Memorial Hospital's neonatal intensive care unit use the device daily. Babies using the device get bigger, stronger, and ultimately make the trip home much faster. And what we've seen is the babies that use the PAL, that they become um, used to that non-nutritive sucking. They're ready to eat sooner. They go home from the hospital sooner. They tolerate their feedings better. They're great. And for parents who are spending day in and day out in the NICU, the PAL device gives them comfort and helps them stay tied to their baby's progress. It helps strengthen their muscles so that when they latch on to the nipple or to the bottle, they can hold on for longer and feed for, you know, the whole bottle, the whole feed. Due to a life-threatening illness, Carlson's twins came nine weeks early. Because they were early, they have stayed in the NICU for more than a month getting extra care. So I've noticed in the past two weeks since they've been doing this, they're finishing bottles and we're actually starting to latch on to me, which is the end game. While Carlson visits daily, nurses find with PAL, it gives mothers a chance to connect with their babies who so often stay in the incubators. So this is a chance that while they've lost a lot of control, that at this point when they're able to come in and work with music therapy with a pal, with their little one, that they can begin to have that control back again and really be an active part of the recovery and the healing and the growth and development of their little one. Because she can get big and smiley and goofy. For this one family, they're happy to have the connection. Anything, anything to help Quinn and Rowan and make them stronger and get them, you know, home sooner is, you know, great. Until recently, Dr. Stanley's device was only in use in Tallahassee. Now, thanks to an investment from Powers Device Technologies, the device is in mass production. So it's very exciting to think that finally it will be available to all of the babies that need some help with this phase of their development in the NICU. The pacifier activated lullaby is now available to all hospitals nationwide and will soon be available to parents to help babies build strength and come home sooner. All thanks to a Florida State University professor who believes in the healing power of music.